In 1992, a 35-year-old Japanese engineer invented something that would eventually process 2 billion transactions every single day, and he gave it away for free. His name is Masahiro Hara. He worked at a Toyota supplier where factory workers had to scan 10 different barcodes just to track one car part. During lunch breaks, Hara played Go, the ancient strategy game with black and white stones. One day he realized something. What if codes could work like Go, using patterns in two dimensions instead of just one horizontal line? He spent six months studying every piece of printed material he could find, testing thousands of pattern combinations until he cracked it. The QR code. This code could be scanned from any angle, held way more information than barcodes, and changed everything. But here's where the story gets wild. His company wanted to patent it and charge licensing fees. They could have made billions. Hara said no. He convinced them to release it completely free. His colleagues thought he lost his mind. They said he was throwing away a fortune. Today, QR codes process $35 billion in transactions globally. China alone does 2 billion QR payment transactions every single day. His philosophy, if you want to change the world, you don't own it. You share it. When someone invents trillion dollar technology and gives it away for free because they believe in global impact over personal wealth, that's not just innovation. That's a completely different way of thinking about success.